Hogwarts Legacy Review Calls have been sent out to media outlets and some content creators. Today I bring you details of possible review dates, as well as when you can start streaming the game for yourself, as well as capture event footage. Okay, so a lot of this info right now is speculation, and although I'm pretty certain with a few of the sources confirming this, we can't say for sure whether or not it's 100% factual. Because, well, if you are watching this, you are like me and haven't been given an early access review code for the game. So, hey, we can all sit here and cry together. So, pushing that aside for a second, some legit info I can confirm is when you'll be able to start streaming the game for yourself, if this is a plan for you. Have you purchased the Deluxe Edition, meaning you can play the game from the 7th of February? Well, does this mean you can start streaming from the 7th of February without getting into trouble with Warner Brother Games? Well, I can confirm guys, yes you can stream from the 7th. This is known as the street date for the game's release, meaning creating content and streaming the game is fine to do. Confirmed, as you can see on screen now, by Warner Brother Help on Twitter. A question put forth to Warner Brother Games asking if streaming the early access to Hogwarts Legacy was allowed. They replied with, while we do not provide permission on behalf of Warner Brother Games to stream our titles, you should be able to stream the game without issues as long as you are not breaking the street date of February 7th. Which guys in my opinion was kinda obvious, I don't think they would punish players for buying the deluxe edition to play and cover the game early, which is what they would do if they did punish players, which would be bizarre. Okay, so early access review codes have been rumoured to be sent out. It's also rumoured some content creators have been to an event to record footage to showcase on their channels. And well, all of these are believed to be hitting the internet around the 25th of January, which is like a few days away. So expect to see many, many details hit social media platforms that you probably didn't already know if this information is true. Now I won't lie, I heard about the capture event a couple of weeks ago. I don't know any content creators who went on a personal level, but I heard it was going on. So there are creators out there guys that you are watching now who have already played this game and have more details they can't share with you. Are they hiding stuff? Probably. But I hear the embargo is up uh, in and around the 25th of January, so it's not long to wait. But what I will say here is, when early access review calls are sent out to media outlets especially, it's typically we do see those negative reviews drop. I think there'll be an abundance more here with Hogwarts Legacy because of the shadow it has over the game and with the guys trying to boycott it and cancel the franchise. I know for a fact these reviews are coming where this overshadows what the game's all about and while in reality, what the game offers most Harry Potter fans. I've said it before and I'll say it again, no this game won't be the next Elden Ring, it can't possibly offer that kind of scale. But for the most part, Harry Potter fans don't care about that. The connection with this universe goes way, way deeper than video games. And I feel for the most part, 95% of these reviews that we will see won't even understand that. But yes, a word of warning, in and around the 25th of this month, it's believed new info, spoilers, reviews and much more will hit the internet. So be warned, people. And there we have it for another video, a short but sweet one. If any more information does drop on the game, I will have you covered right here on my channel. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like truly really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.